Hello, Andy Reynolds, livemusicbusiness.com here, and today I'm gonna to help you to make an input list and a stage plan. So imagine you are playing a show, and this is your back line, and before the show, or as you load into show, the house sound engineer says, what have you got? And you say, well, we've got bass, guitar, and drums, and vocals, and keyboards, which is correct, but the house sound engineer will want to know what individual sources each element on stage comprises so that she can plug them into her mixing desk and in order to do that she will need an input list. So an input list is just a list of all the sources on stage. So if we take our drum kit for instance we've got our kick drum which will be one source, one channel on the input list. We've got our snare drum which will be another channel. We've got our rack toms, we've got a floor tom, we've got cymbals, we've got hi-hats etc etc. So at a very basic level, for our input list for the, for the drums, for instance, we would have channel one, which would be our kick, channel two, which would be our snare, channel three, now we might put just one microphone on the two rack toms, channel four would be our floor tom, and so on and so forth. So we list the instruments for the uh, drum kit for instance in that order and then we carry on looking at all the sources that we've got on stage and identifying which parts that need introducing into the sound system so for instance we would have our bass guitar and in a small club we'd probably just go with a DI which may be the guitar plugged into a DI box or a DI out on the uh, bass amplifier head itself we may also go for a microphone on this, in which case there will be a separate channel which would say bass mic, but we're not going to go to a bass mic in this instant. Uh, then we're moving on to our guitars. Now we've got two guitars. Which one is which? Well, we tend to name things on stage and for our input list according to their position on stage. And in this case, it will be stage right and stage left. And this relates to the physical position of instruments on stage from our point of view on stage looking at the audience so we're standing on stage this is the audience here this is our right hand side so this is stage right and this is stage left so looking at our stage setup this is our stage right guitar and this is our stage left guitar and that's what our input list will say stage right stage left and so on for any item that happens to be on stage relative to us standing on stage looking at the audience and so we carry on adding all the sources that we have on stage into this list so that we can give it to the house engineer so that she can plug everything up into the house sound system and as you can see here we've added keyboards i've got a di on the keyboards we've added a lead vocal and it's usually that the lead vocal will be in the center so we can instead of writing lead vocal we could if the vocal is in the center just put that symbol there and we've also got a backing vocal and again that's stage left and vocal is often shortened to vox so that is a very basic input list that we would give to the house engineer telling her exactly what we've got and what needs to be mic'd up and plugged in as you become more experienced at making an input list or you have more time beforehand, you'll end up producing a document like this, which is a professional looking input list. Uh, exactly the same as before, I've gone around the rehearsal room beforehand and, and looked and seen exactly what sources I need miking up or plugging into the PA. So I've got my sources listed here with all the various instruments. I've got some mic notes about what microphones I might prefer plus my stands and, and some notes as to where things are. For instance, I'm telling the house sound engineer that in this occasion, those two microphones are actually on the same guitar cabinet. I've also obviously indicated the name of the band and very importantly, I've indicated when this input list is relevant. If you're doing a lot of touring or a lot of shows, you may be playing shows with different lineups or you may be changing instrumentation just for a stripped down acoustic show. So obviously you're not gonna send out the input list for the full on rock band that you usually tour with. So I've indicated when the input list expires and this is good industry practice. So that's basically your input list. You'll then want to create a stage plan.
A stage plan is a plot that shows exactly where instruments should live on stage so the house engineer can plug up everything in the right order working off her input list. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, all you need to indicate is where things live on stage usually. So going back to our original band you could indicate that this section here is the drums and the channels accordingly. So channels 1 to 4 and a little note is our drums. That's all it needs to be. You don't need pretty pictures of stick men. We've got our bass and that was channel 5. Stage right guitar, which was channel 6. Our stage left guitar, channel 7, and so on and so forth. And here is a professional stage plan for the input that goes with the input list we've seen previously. And as you can see, it just very clearly shows where everything is on stage what numbers relate to the numbers on the input list and so the house engineer can plug everything up and make sure it works before we start to sound check.